Well, good Monday. It's time for a quick weather update. We've got a lot going on across the country. The potential is on the table for some severe weather across the central United States. We're going to talk a little bit about that. That storm will move to the east. It may bring some rain relief here, and we're watching a a pretty decent storm slamming into the Pacific Northwest with another one on the way. Hey, guys, thanks for watching today. If it's your first time, I appreciate all of you who have newly subscribed. We are just really racking up the numbers. It's blowing me away. Thanks to you guys for being part of the community. And I love hearing from you guys. I've heard from folks from Canada, the Western United States, California. It blows me away. So thanks for watching, first of all. And second of all, thank you so much for subscribing. Let's go to what's going on right now over the next couple of days. Right now across the West, really Western Canada and also the Pacific Northwest, we've got this storm here bringing some rain and snow here into the Canadian Rockies. That storm will continue to push off to the east. This will be the weather maker for the next couple of days. That storm will bring some heavy snow here into the Intermountain West. Our next storm slamming into the Pacific Northwest. Storm 1 moving across the country. Storm 2 back here. That first storm may actually try to bring a little bit of snow into parts of Wisconsin. We're going to look at that in just a second, a little bit closer. And an, another storm, again, that we're talking about, is going to bring some more snow and rain here into the west. Let's start across the west first through the day today and then into tonight. That snow moves east. By the time we get into Tuesday, that snow could be really heavy here from the Wasatch into the Colorado Rockies north into the mountains of Wyoming. And then on Wednesday, everything shifts east into the Plain States. Some of that snow, again, heavy, maybe six inches or more up to a foot in some of the mountains, especially uh, into parts of the Wasatch and again into the Colorado Rockies. And then everything gets interesting on Wednesday as our area of low pressure gets to the east side of the mountains. It starts to deepen and rapidly move off to the north and east. And as we head into Wednesday afternoon, there could be some severe weather in this area. Now, there is some question, really, as to how strong these storms get. Uh, Surface temperatures are going to be really warm here. We're going to have dew points in the 60s, so there will definitely be some energy there. And with that said, there's also going to be some rotation in the atmosphere. So there could be some supercells, and that could lead to a few isolated tornadoes. At this point, the stronger rotating storms... Uh, don't maybe look as favorable as they maybe had looked early, to be honest with you. This is, we're day three out. Let's let's take a look at once we get into tomorrow. I think we'll have a better look. But as of right now, some of the models are really showing that some of the low-level lapse rates, that's the change in temperature as you go up in height, may not be as robust. So with that said, that may be a limiting factor. But either way, that's a time period to watch as this shifts off to the east for some severe weather heading into Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. A lot of rain associated with this for some areas, finally, that maybe haven't seen some rain. I don't know how much we're going to end up seeing, but at this point, at least it looks like a chance. And some of you saying, we'll take anything we can get. And it tries to mix with a little bit of snow on the north end of that. Now, whether that happens or not, I think is to be determined for parts of Wisconsin, parts of the arrowhead of, uh, well, I don't know if it gets up into the arrowhead of Minnesota, but I guess the UP of Michigan really here. And then everything pushes off to the east. Maybe a little bit of snow here into parts of uh, Canada. I don't know that we see a lot, clearly. Too warm for snow down here in the big cities of Ontario. Everything up north here. And then as that front pushes off to the east, everything kind of falls apart. So not a lot of rain expected out of that system as it moves off to the east. You can see here it really starts to dry out and lose its punch. High pressure builds in for another dry weekend across the northeast. And then maybe some rain as we head into uh, next Monday and Tuesday. A cold start today, for sure. Uh, temperatures warming up as we head into the afternoon. Uh, eventually, we, we should be into the 40s and 30s, but much warmer weather on the way for the northeast. It'll take a little while to get there, though. If you want to see warm, look at this. 80s here across the south. That warm air builds even further north now as we head into Tuesday with widespread 70s and even 80s here showing up across the board. Across the plain states, we will see the change here. It's going to take a little while, though. That cold front that's going to be moving through, that's going to bring the severe weather on Wednesday. There it comes, clearly evident here on our temperature map here. You could see numbers dropping back into the 40s and 50s versus the high temperatures in the 80s and even 90s by the time we get into Friday, so closer to where we should be this time of year. We're also watching the upper-level pattern, too, as we head into the weekend. With this trough in the west and this ridge in the east and with maybe something forming here, in the Caribbean, it's something to watch. Where will the trough be when something forms here? I think there's a lot of question. One thing's for sure, though, the National Hurricane Center has upped their chance now to 40% for some tropical development in the next seven days. This really hasn't changed that much. 
What I've been looking at really hasn't changed that much. It's that now we're within that seven day window. So this is an area to watch. All right. That's all I got. Have a great Monday. See ya.